Duke has committed to growing its research and education footprint in computer security broadly construed uh, in re ways that I found really compelling. Uh, they, they want to invest a lot in this area. They believe it's important for the future as I do. And so I've been uh, really excited to uh, come to Duke. Uh, I've, you know, I've been officially on this job for less than a month, but we already have a working group developing a vision on how Duke can really move the needle in this area. And I find that really exciting, the fact that Duke wants to invest and grow in this space. I, I have a lot of different projects going on. I keep a very active research group. Uh, I'll just try to run through a few of them uh, briefly. So uh, one way in which systems are sometimes attacked is by it is through their interactions with other systems that are manipulated to misbehave in unexpected ways. And so one of the things that we've been studying for on and off for a number of years are what are ways that you can verify the behavior of a remote party with whom you're communicating as being consistent with the software you expect it to be running. Mm -hmm. So really what we're trying to do is answer the question, could that version of this software have produced the messages I'm now receiving? Or has something been manipulated to uh, cause a problem? The way we got into this originally was in uh, trying to detect game cheats, where a game client had been manipulated by its owner to cheat in the game. And so, but, but today we now look focus on other kinds of systems as well, low level protocols, even cryptographic protocols. Can we detect efficiently when they've been manipulated and are misbehaving in some way? Um, another topic that I've uh, been very excited about lately in my group is ways of leveraging interaction among websites to defend against credential abuse. Today, websites defended against these kinds of attacks individually, but what we've been looking at is what would happen if the websites kind of collaborated a little bit to detect when this kind of thing was happening to try to breach accounts, but without violating people's privacy through that collaboration. So that's a, a big challenge that we've been looking at. I have a number of projects related to blockchain technology. Uh, as I mentioned, I also work in adversarial machine learning. What this really focuses on is how to build machine learning algorithms that can operate correctly despite adversaries trying to manipulate training time inputs or testing time uh, items to be classified in the wild. And then the last one I'll mention is network security. Uh, in particular, software-defined networking is a new networking paradigm that's getting traction in a number of areas of industry. Now, outside of research, one of the things that um, I try to move the needle on is figuring out how, the, how we can make computer science uh, more representative of the human race in general, right? If you look at uh, computer science, uh, historically, it's been dominated by white men like me, and it, it's always troubled me, right? Why that's the case. And it troubles me because I really feel that for the field to prosper as best as it can, it needs to draw the smartest brains from every corner of humanity. And we're clearly not doing that right now. And so I try to look for ways to um, uh, make sure there aren't unnecessary obstacles or, you know, any obstacles to be frank to anybody entering the field. And, and I do what I can, it, when I see those opportunities to, uh, to, to make an improvement in that respect. Let's see, first and foremost, uh, you know, uh, I'd like to start to get to know my Duke colleagues and some Duke students. Uh, it's really limited interactions with people that I would have normally had uh, in, in this new position. And so I look forward to making up for that, to be completely honest, when we have this whole pandemic thing behind us. Uh, but, you know, uh, looking beyond just, you know, getting integrated a little bit into the department, I, I want to focus on growing a vibrant research group here at Duke, along with helping others uh, do the same, other junior faculty that will be hiring in the computer security or elsewhere uh, in other topics. Um, and I'd like to help the university realize this vision for cybersecurity on campus that the working group is presently assembling. So I'd like to help them succeed in, in doing that.